take three. Here's a quick update. It's not so quick the way it's been going. Uh, on the, I was going to say a 40 breeder. That's why why we're doing it. Take three. On the 75 that I got from Offer Up, I think I paid, I think I said it was either 40 or 45 bucks for it. And it wasn't too far from home. I'm in Palm Desert. It is a woman in Indio. Uh, she had it on Offer Up and it had been there. And it uh, um, apparently somebody said they were going to take it. Uh, by the time I finally got to it, because I thought it was a great deal, and, and I, I waited. Uh, then it was, she said it was sold, and I uh, said, well, you know, if these people don't show up, they, they were supposed to come Tuesday. If they don't show up by Tuesday, let me know. So she got back to me, I think it was Tuesday. I went and got it Wednesday. Um, this goes back several months now, and I had it sitting on a shelf for quite a while, uh, trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. And, well, this is what, what it turned out. I had these these big chunks of rock my wife and I did a, a, a fix and flip in Palm Springs and these were in the backyard next to uh, this plastic pond liner that they had in now I wish I would have saved that but we saved the rock and we used them for stepping stones at our house in Orange County and then when we moved from Orange County out to Palm Desert here full-time we took these rocks with us I'm glad we did now and then in the other video I showed where I saw cut them all in half lengthwise uh, with a flat surface on the back and stacked them. Uh, I used a piece of half inch styrofoam on the bottom to protect the rock from the glass and then a half piece of half inch styrofoam on the back to protect the, <laughs> the rock from the glass. The rock's gonna break, yeah. To protect the glass from the rock in both cases. Now check this out. I don't know if you guys can see him. Little blue dream shrimp going across there. Yeah, that's one of the updates. Uh, yesterday, last night, I put uh, 10 little Blue Dream shrimp in here, little Neo Caradina. Um, they seem like they're doing all right. Um, so when I set this tank up, it's been down a couple weeks now, uh, and then I stocked it with fish. I put uh, um, the six bronze quarries from a 40 breeder, and there were also 10 Emperor Tetras in that same 40 breeder. Within the first week, all the Emperor Tetras died, and I have no idea why. All the water parameters checked out fine. It's the same water, really, that was in the other tank. I thought maybe it's something to do with the rock, and it could be. Somebody chimed in with a bunch of possibilities on different rock. There's no, uh, it's not um, any kind of calcium-based rock, because it doesn't react with vinegar. I tried that. And they said, well, it might be malachite, and maybe that's toxic you know, at certain levels. But I was concerned about copper, um, coming from the rock and I tested for that and if there was copper in the water I wouldn't have the snails in here that I wasn't paying attention and brought them in when I transported or transferred these crypts from my farm tank there's a bunch of crypts back in there there's another one uh, there's some back in here uh, the, the bronze crypts or red crypts wenti eye and then on this side I put in the green green crypt wenti eye all right, um, and then I stuck this this chunk of wood with all the little boosts of philandra on it in here too. Uh, just thought I I should, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it here or not. It's kind of leaning and it's sort of precariously perched. And next time I drop the water, maybe I'll stick a little dab of a super glue on a paper towel behind it and hold it in one place, or toilet paper, wear a paper towel probably. Uh, for those of the UK, kitchen roll. I learned that watching MD fish tanks and uh, fish out mat. Uh, and then I've also got this red melon uh, echinodorus. Uh, I've got a couple of those in there. Uh, there's one there. I think there's three. Uh, and then I put some of this other, uh, I think it's, I forget, red flame echinodorus in here that I've had in a different farm tank. And then the Sagittarius subulata all across the front. All right, the bronze quarry having a heyday. All right. uh, so the Sagittarius subulata. And then I took a, a regular Echinodorus Amazon sword and stuck it in uh, right there behind this rock. It'll grow up over the rock. And then this long wispy stuff is uh, Cryptochorine spiralis. I kind of like it. It's doing all right. It's probably a lousy spot. The taller leaves keep getting sucked into the filter. Uh, now, some of you may know so I've posted it, I think, a few times. These bronze quarries, the day after they got in this tank, they spawned. Um, 
and I collected a bunch of the eggs. And then uh, they've been spawning almost every day since, and I've left a lot of the spawns in here, and I'm seeing little fry, you know, uh, coming and going under under rocks. There was a spawn against the glass back there, and I've seen a, a couple uh, fry coming and going from under those those rocks I set on top there. And then I saw another fry on that ledge right there. And another one, I think I saw, anyway, I saw a little blur go under the rock back there in that little ravine where that big bronze is coming out of. Um, and the eggs I did collect, I put in one of these fluval hang on the side breeder boxes and there's some fry in there and I collected some more eggs out yesterday. Uh, so there's some clumps of eggs, you, you might be able to see them. I don't know, let me see if I can back out. And, and I collected some eggs that was on a crypt leave. Let me see if I got that. Yeah, here. Hopefully you can, let's see if we can get more light on those. There they are, all on that crypt leaf. So they'll hatch off and drop to the bottom. And so I feed them uh, um, Hikari first bites and some micro worms that I got from uh, Brandon over at Coachella Valley Aquatics and uh, baby brine shrimp, uh, fresh hatched baby brine. Um, so anyway, that's kind of where this tank's at right now. I got the uh, narrow leaf java fern all tucked into the crevices uh, along the rock, and eventually they'll uh, they'll start anchoring themselves and and filling out. And I think that'll look really cool. Um, I was going to put some window love java fern in here, and I forgot, so I just went with all the this the same narrow leaf. And there's a little uh, anubius that's trying to recover from. It was having a hard time in another tank. Got covered with algae. Um, so I cleaned it up, soaked it in uh, uh, water with a little bit of peroxide for a while, cleaned it off a little bit. So it's in there, it's stuck to a rock. And that's kind of where it's at. It's been a fun tank. And I really, I really like it. The price was absolutely right for 45 bucks, whatever it was. So and I've got a, a pothos up in the back there and another pothos there and a philodendron tucked in. There's kind of a gap, about a half inch gap behind these rocks, and it goes down a couple inches at this point. It's really close. You might be able to see the styrofoam. I don't know, right in the corner there. Let's try it from the other angle. Uh, yeah, you can see the styrofoam right. I'm gonna get my finger in there, right there. So it's at that level, so that's, uh, so it's about eight inches from the top. Um, so it's, there's probably about a four inch gap, maybe three or four inch gap behind by the time you get up to this end. So that's kind of cool. That's, and I've got this, uh, I think it's Amazon frog bit. That's what I was told. I've seen other people say it's water lettuce, but it doesn't look like water lettuce that I've seen. So anyway, always open for, you know, anybody uh, chime in, let me know. Um, and then I just dropped some sticks in here from the tree out front. And it's got all that bio slime on it. It'll eventually disappear. The fish will eat it. And maybe, maybe I can come up with uh, some little plecos um, to put in here. That would be cool, too. Some little, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I saw a post from somebody today. Uh, water change done and loads of little plecos in their tank. And you know who you are. And if you want to sell any of those, let me know. Um, so anyway, there we are. A little bit of the hygrophila pinnatifida back there. I, uh, I'm sorry, not lied, 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 lied. Uh, hydro, hydrocotyl Japan. Scratch that and start over. Yep, so anyway, that is what was supposed to be a quick update and has turned into kind of a, a long winded, lengthy one. But I hope you like it. I sure do. Uh, it's fun to watch these quarries. So this is going to be obviously a bronze quarry tank at some point. I've got all these uh, uh, quarry juveniles that are know, maybe a half an inch long uh, that I was going to put in here and I held off and uh, I ended up putting them in the tank with the baby or the juvenile uh, bettas that I uh, um, that they grew up with and now I wish I would have just dropped them in here. Uh, eventually I'll, I'll move them all over. And I think they'll be just fine. But I really like the way this is coming out. And also, I got a couple of these little, uh, I think they're red tiger lotus. There's there's a little one right there. Another one tucked in right there. They're doing really well. I've had them for, I don't know, a week, week and a half now. 
I got those, uh, a vendor on Amazon called Marcus Fish Tanks. Uh, I, I think I put that in another video. I will buy, I will buy from him again. Just one thing uh, I found though, he does uh, have duckweed occasionally that comes through on his stuff and I am not a fan. So I just rinse it off, make sure it's clean, duckweed free. And I like this piece going across the top of the tank right there. There it is. I'll get the net and or get a net. You know, if we had two Perrys, we could put a net between them and play platypult badminton. Who's a net? Ferb, that's it. I know what we're going to do today. No, seriously, who's a net? There it goes. I just using my fingers. I'm not a fan. It's really an invasive weed. So anyway, it's Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. Love your feedback. You know the drill. Questions, comments, smart-ass remarks. And we'll talk to you all later.